Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Star Wars Cats and Tonus. Uh, I play football for hopefully a living in the next couple months here. Um, today I just wanted to come to you guys and kind of share my story. Let that be my sort of preface video and starting kind of my YouTube journey. Uh, I kind of have been in and out of YouTube a bit. Uh, you know, gaming. Obviously I post my highlight tapes on my YouTube channel, but I never really thought about, you know, sharing my story with people and, you know, vlogging my kind of weekly life in football because, you know, not, not a lot of people do that. So uh, I just thought it'd be interesting to share that with you guys. So kind of starting off, uh, I was born and raised in Bakersfield, California. And for those of you that don't know where Bakersfield, California is, it's about two hours, give or take, northwest or northeast-ish from LA and then about an hour and a half south of Fresno. So kind of like Central Valley is where you were, what it's called, if you guys are thinking about it, on like geographically. Uh, so yeah, I was born and raised there, or here, because I'm here right now. Um, and yeah, I've spent probably 19, 20 years, well, probably 18 years of my life before I moved to Canada um, in Bakersfield, uh, you know, went to elementary school here, went to a few different junior highs, uh, two different high schools uh, and then you know started playing football when I was about probably about 13 or 14 years old uh, so I wasn't like super young uh, I was kind of you know in early stages of you know adolescent development uh, so my parents let me play tackle football I got into that um, it was just a really it was a really fun thing for me you know uh, growing up in elementary school uh, I kind of first Everyone plays soccer, right, when they're young. So that's kind of the first sport I played. I played soccer. Um, my dad's a Canadian, he's from Canada. Well, he's Greek, but he's from Canada. Uh, so I'm a dual citizen, so I also played hockey, uh, which is, you know, California hockey, like who does that, right? So that was what I played um, a little bit. And then probably in like first or second grade, one of my uh, good friends, he kind of introduced me to football. And I realized, wow, like, you get to tackle people, that's pretty fun. And I already kind of like the physical contact sports because whenever I play hockey, I love to like hit people. But when you're in Little League, you're not allowed to hit, which you know, I guess is a bad thing. So anyways, uh, I got into football, uh, kind of just, I just took it and ran with it from there, you know? I, I loved playing tackle football, I love to tackle people. Uh, not because I mean, you know, it's just part of the game. Outside of the game, I'm, I'm a nice person, I promise. Um, but I just, I really enjoyed that aspect of it, you know, and as I grew uh, older and kind of learned more about the game of football, uh, I just thought, you know, wow, like this is something I could really like enjoy doing for, you know, as a job, you know, for the rest of my life, because it's something, you know, something I love to do. Uh, so once I kind of played uh, youth football, tackle football for the first time, that's when it kind of started to hit me like, oh, okay, I'm not the best out here, but you know, I'm pretty good for, you know, first time playing tackle football like you know that was that was my thing so uh, I really just you know dedicated my kind of uh, I guess aspirations if you may to you know first goal was to play high school football uh, and get on the varsity team so my freshman year I played junior varsity for uh, a few games and then played some frost off as well uh, and then sophomore year played junior varsity as well and then you know just kind of went from there, played varsity for my junior and senior year at uh, Liberty High School um, where I played free safety uh, for two years and then played a little bit of receiver as well. And you know, from then on, I was just kind of, I was just kind of known as a, you know, guy that loved to hit people and, you know, intercept the ball. So for those of you who don't know football, intercepting the ball is when myself, a defensive player, catches the ball from the quarterback, which everyone should know who the quarterback is, the guy who throws the ball on offense. Uh, yeah, I intercept that and then get it back to my team basically. So Anyways, that was my position uh, And you know, out of high, once I got into high school my thing was oh, I want to get a division one scholarship um, And that was kind of my thing and you know that that uh, Avenue didn't really pan out for me. You know, I was a small guy, you know, I'm only about like 5'10 uh, So I, my roster picks has 5'11 so 5'11 and in gear so uh, but yeah, wasn't a very big guy, so wasn't really you know known as a you know heavy recruit guy. So I didn't get any scholarships from any Division One schools. So that kind of broke my heart uh, at the start. Was you know that was my goal from the start. Once I got in high school, was to get a scholarship to a Division One school. So you know 
that was a humble pie experience right there. Uh, and then from there, uh, you know, being a dual citizen, you know, through my dad, he's uh, from a city called Edmonton in Canada, uh, which is kind of the Midwest. I think it's above Montana, Edmonton, Alberta. So he grew up there. His parents immigrated from Greece after World War II. Uh, so he grew up there. Uh, was play, played, He plays football as well, so it runs in the family. And came down to Bakersfield, went to Bakersfield College, played football there, met my mom. Uh, then he went back up to the University of Calgary to play football there, and my mom went with him. Record blizzard year, 1988. Uh, my mom said, no, we're going back to California where it's sunny every day. Um, and then yeah, so then they, they moved back to Bakersfield, started a family, they opened up a restaurant in 1989 uh, called Goose Looney's and they're still running it today. So I think it's about 30 years now that they've been running it. So. Um, and then I'm one of uh, four siblings. I have an older sister, uh, her name's Katerina, and an older brother, his name's Dimitri, he's the oldest. And then I have a younger brother named Nico. We're about 17 months apart, so we're pretty close. Um, and he plays football as well. My oldest brother played football in high school as well. Um, and then my sister played you know, volleyball, soccer, all that great stuff, cheerleader. Uh, so, so yeah. Um, then I, you know, I just, my dad messaged a coach in Canada. He's like, you want to play college football in Canada? Like I didn't, I was like, sure, you know, like, why not? Um, and then I just kind of, you know, it kind of came into fruition. They really liked my highlight tape. They offered me a scholarship. And then, I mean, that's in about, that's about April or March. Um, and I'm like, April or March of my senior year. So I'm about to graduate. I have no idea where I'm going yet for college and then boom, get offered a scholarship to go live in Vancouver, one of the most beautiful, nicest cities, places to live, probably in North America, um, if any of you have ever been to Vancouver, Canada. And yeah, that was just kind of, I was like, I took a few visits there, I've been, I've been to Canada like a bunch of times growing up when I was younger, uh, and I was just like, wow, like this is an amazing city, it's awesome, I love it, you know, it's cloudy, I grew up in, a, in sunny Bakersfield where it's 100 degrees, you know, every day in the summer. So, getting a little change of scenery was something that I was really interested in. So, and I got to still be on the West Coast, so that was pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I just, I kind of, I got that kind of scholarship there, and I was like, all right, you know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to go up to Vancouver. And then, just before I was about to leave, I met this wonderful, amazing woman, uh, who is currently my wife now. Uh, her name is Kylie. And I met her about, you know, literally a month and a half before I was about to go, you know, two or 3,000 miles away from where my home was. Um, and, you know, we just kind of just started talking and, you know, whatever, you know, things just kind of went how they went. You know how chemistry works. So uh, we just, we started dating and, you know, we've done long distance for about four, well, we did long distance for about three, three or four years. Uh, and then we got married uh, just last year in 2018. Uh, in May, so yeah, newlyweds, almost a year, a couple more months, um, and yeah, so that was, you know, there's all these things happening all at once, which is really crazy, right, like scholarship boom, then, you know, get a girlfriend, which, you know, I, I really didn't date that much in high school, because uh, I was always focused on football, and that's how my mom made it, she was like, hey, if you want to play professional football or college football, you need to focus on school and football, so anything else is just going to distract you, so that was kind of my thing, I was just, you know, always played football, did my school, did well in school, um, and did it, did it that way. So then, you know, I go up to Canada. It's, uh, it's about June or July. Have to leave my girlfriend who I've only been with for, you know, a month. That's, that was really hard, you know. Everyone knows how the, you know, the first couple weeks of dating are. When, you know, when you first meet your uh, significant other, you're like, you're like, oh, this could be the person for the rest of my life. Um, you know, and it's, and it's sad when you have to leave them. So that was the toughest part was leaving her, um, but also, starting a new journey in a whole different city that I'd never lived in before, with totally new people, new football team, new teammates, new coaches, all that sort of stuff. So that was just a real eye-opener for me in my first year of college was, oh wow, you know, I'm not the best anymore on my team, you know, I'm not a, I'm not the, I went from basically being, you know, the tenured veteran in, in high school to, you know, the rookie again. Uh, so that was, that was really tough, was kind of, you know, getting a reality check of oh, you're not the you're not the top player on the team anymore. Uh, you know, you're not the voice anymore. You kind of got to step back. You got to learn from the the veteran guys that are there. So uh, that was definitely an interesting thing. And then in my first year, 
we won a national championship uh, at the University of British Columbia. That's where you know I played football for the past four years and then went to school. And we won the national championship out of all of Canada, which was awesome. You know that was a great experience for me. I got to go to Quebec City, uh, which is on the east coast of Canada. It's like the French Canada, French Can French Canada, basically. All, everyone speaks French there. It's crazy. It's like literally going to a different country. That's what it feels like. Um, everyone looks at you funny if you speak English, which is you know okay, whatever. And I only, I only grew up learning how to speak English and Spanish, so my Spanish didn't help me at all in uh, in, in French Canada. So. Um, but yeah, Quebec City, awesome place, amazing place. Um, and we ended up winning the national championship, won on a game-winning field goal, which was, oh man, that's, you know, heart was racing during that during that point, you know, no time on the clock, kick a field goal, win the game, boom. We had like a Cinderella season, we weren't supposed to win, we just had a new coach, you know, totally new recruiting. You know, we were, they were hoping that we would win just one game that season, you know, and we ended up winning it all. So that was just an awesome thing. Um, and then the next three years, uh, they were, they were okay. You know, we did okay. You know, went to the conference championship two years in a row and then, uh, lost in the first round of playoffs this past year. Um, you know, that's how it goes. You know, that's life. You don't always get to, you know, get the big apple. Uh, sometimes you got to settle with, you know, play, play the cards you're dealt, you know? So, uh, but in those three years post from the national championship, you know, I was able to, you know, accumulate a bunch of different, you know, individual accolades. I was a three-time All-Canadian at free safety. Um, I was a defensive player of the conference in 2017. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, those are just those are just a few of the accolades that I received, you know, team captain, all that sort of stuff, you know. Uh, but anyways, that's kind of, you know, my story up into this point. And now I'm currently just finishing up training for the CFL Combine, which I got invited to, the CFL National Combine, which is... March 21st to the 24th, uh, which is in Toronto. So that's next week for those of you who, uh, well actually, depending on when this video gets posted, probably be next week. Um, but yeah, so that's that's coming up next week. Um, you know, I'm very excited for that. I've been putting in a lot of hard work, training very hard, um, and all that sort of stuff, you know. Getting a lot of hours and making sure I'm uh, staying focused on my training. Uh, so that starts next week. I'm really excited for that. I'm actually going to Detroit a few days before just to, you know, make sure my body is right. You know, taking care of your body is the most important thing when you're you're an athlete. Um, so I'm just, I'm really excited for that. And I'll be coming to you guys next week with a video on that. So you guys will be able to see what I'm doing there. I'm going to be getting interviewed by different teams, uh, performing different tests, a 40 yard dash, vertical jump, broad jump, bench press. Um, one-on-one -on -one drills so I'll try to see if I can get some footage of that for you guys for next week but yeah I mean that's just that's just a little bit of what I'm doing next week but I mean that's my story you know so that's from when I was born in Bakersfield to you know this point right now where I'm training I'm 22 years old I'm gonna be 23 this year um, and yeah it's just you know it's ex exciting time I'm you know super excited to you know let you guys in on this journey uh, you know get this posted up to YouTube and you know just just let anyone see it because you know in any way that I can inspire someone else that's in my same situation or in a different situation that can say hey look if Stavros did it why can't I do it and that, that's just I want to be that you know positive influence to people uh, to show them that you know I'm just I'm just you know an average sized kid from Bakersfield that is now having the you know opportunity to fulfill his dream so I just want that to be out there for people to see and to motivate them and just show them that you know nothing is impossible so yeah just you know that's about it for me right now just training for the CFL draft hopefully might get an NFL shot um, through our pro day which is at uh, UBC April 5th so I'll also have a video for that as well um, and then yeah you know whatever whatever God has in store for me you know whatever that path is I'm you know I'm excited for it I'm just gonna I'm gonna let it all unfold you know I'm excited to uh, test next week show off my skills in front of some CFL scouts uh, show them what I got, and then the CFL draft is uh, May 2nd, I believe, uh, and hoping to get my name called then and see what team uh, I'll be going to, What's, what new city, right? It's going to be a more than likely a new city change for me, uh, which I'm kind of used to now after, you know, living in Vancouver, so yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. That's kind of my story on, you know, who I am, where I can't come from, uh, you know, the person I'm aspiring to be. Uh, and yeah, you know, I'm excited for you guys to you know, come along this journey with me. So 
That is all for today, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you.